Any of you who have ever watched me know that I have never had a problem with transgender people. If you listen to what I'm saying, clearly, my problem has always been with white people. Welcome to The Binge List. I am your host, of course, Paul Chapel, And I just want to talk a little bit about The Closer, Dave Chappelle's new special. Well, I'll say that in relative terms because I guess it came out like two weeks ago. Everybody's had their stab at this special saying what they didn't like about it. So I decided, why not add my two cents? I think the biggest crime of this special was that, you know, forget all the transphobia stuff and all the other jokes he made about disadvantaged people. He made a joke about Jews. He made a joke about white women. But the biggest crime of this special, I think, is the fact that it just wasn't that funny. I mean, it was very preachy at times. And, you know, I thought it was funny at the time when I saw it. Because, you know, I have to admit, I did laugh at some of the jokes. The test of any great special, though, is whether you actually remember any of their bits later. And since I've had time to reflect on it, I can't think of one joke that Dave Chappelle made in this special. And even the transphobia stuff, the so-called transphobia stuff, it wasn't really that offensive. I mean, maybe I'm speaking from an area of ignorance because I don't really know that much about trans issues. I think Dave Chappelle made a good point when he said that trans people were able to get rights or recognition a lot faster than black people were able to do. And I think some of that has to do with we, we actually built the ramparts of which... These other minority groups, gay people and and women and all these other groups, they were able to build on the scaffolding that we had already placed. So they're standing on our shoulders, so to speak. So I don't necessarily agree with him uh, with that, but I I can kind of see his point and his grievance there. Uh, The fact is that people really took the trans movement seriously when Caitlyn Jenner, a white man, or used to be a white man, decided that he was going to make himself a woman. And that's disturbing. That That's all it took. Uh, uh, there wasn't any marches or anything. It was just one man who decided that he was going to become a woman because of his fame. <clears throat> he was able to move uh, the trans community forward. Excuse me. But I'm not here to really discuss this. My point about Dave Chappelle is I couldn't remember one joke from this special. And I think, in fact, I know that Dave Chappelle on many levels is getting big headed. I mean, I think in the special, he even refers to himself as the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Now, I would argue that he is not the greatest of all time. I mean, Now, granted, the person I would put a few notches above him, Louis C.K., has been accused of some sexual misconduct. You know what I'm talking about. We don't need to discuss it here. But prior to that whole incident with uh, Louis C.K., Louis C.K. was the biggest comedian on the planet. So I don't know where Dave gets off saying he's the greatest of all time. I mean, I could even argue that Chris Rock has greater influence than Dave Chappelle. And that shows like Key and Peele which were made in the shadow of the Chappelle show. I admit that. But even Key and Peele, I, I will go on YouTube, watch a Key and Peele clip, thinking I'm only going to watch one, and I end up watching 10 or 20 clips from that show. So I would argue the Chappelle has gotten a little arrogant, and that comes with getting the kind of paycheck that he demands um, from companies like Netflix. So it's understandable. But if you, if you think of some of the great specials and... I would have to say most of the specials that I remember with fondness are from either Chris Rock or Louis C.K. And I think with Dave Chappelle specifically, his high water mark was killing him softly. Because in Kill Him Softly, like, like I said, the greatest mark of a great special is the bits that you can remember. And from that special, I can remember the, the Wee Dylan baby. I can remember his adventures with Chad, with the, the, the white guy that... Didn't know he couldn't do that. If you remember that joke from that special, 
Uh, if you think about Chris Rock, Bring the Pain, and Bigger and Black, you're, you, you know, I can cite you so many bits from those specials. Toss Salad Man, Bullet Control, N-Word uh, versus Black People. There are so many great bits from Chris Rock. And, uh, you know, Louis, people like Louis C.K. Now, I can't remember all Louis C.K. specials because I, I think Louis, at one point, he was coming out with special, a new special every freaking year. But there's so many little bits that Louis C.K. has done about his kids that I can remember. There's this one, really, my favorite one where he's talking about getting really good sleep while having children. I have to dispute the notion that Dave Chappelle is the greatest of all time. And this special was painful for me because I, I've been a fan of his for a long time. You know, if you look at his his track record, he wasn't even on the scene for 10 years. So I don't know how he can say he was the greatest of all time. Yeah, Bell's show was great, man. It was great. I'm tired of hearing about it. Really. You left the show after two years. You know, I think it's more impressive if someone actually finishes a show than dropping out like he did. I just would have respected him a little bit more. But uh, he's a great comedian. He's not the greatest comedian. But uh, getting back to this special, at a certain point, he's talking so much about these trans issues. And it's clear that he's really annoyed that liberals don't like him. Because that's where all the criticism ha has come from. And he has this problem with so-called cancel culture. Now, I would argue that cancel culture has been around a lot longer and it was perpetrated by the right wing uh, and the Christian fundamentalists for a long time and that liberals have just misappropriated that for their own needs. But I can see why Dave Chappelle is a little annoyed about it, but at the same time, I think he doth protest too much. Is that the, the old saying from Shakespeare? I think he protests a little bit too much. He he ends the special by by uh, talking about this trans friend that he had called Daphne. Now, when he says this woman was his friend, I felt similarly to how I feel about people who say I, some of my best friends are black people. You know, uh, I really. It, it, are black people really your friend? Do you have them over your house? Do you hang out with them? I think when a lot of white people say they, some of their best friends are black, they're just talking about somebody that they just speak to at work, you know, casually, and who they don't scream and yell at. That person really isn't your friend, okay? If you've never had that person over to your house, they're not your friend. And I get the same feeling when Dave Chappelle talks about his trans friend Deb, he let her open for him at a club and as far as i can see that was the extent of his interaction with her so it just his whole defense of himself comes off a little clumsy i just thought the whole special was a little bit too preachy not enough jokes i understand his grievances and i sympathize with them to a certain extent and i i am kind of annoyed that People are more upset about the fact that he, you know, hurt some trans people's feelings, even though the jokes really weren't that harsh. But they're, they're more offended by him making trans jokes than the fact that he always berates women. I mean, that's just been a staple of his for a long time. He, he drops the, he, he has dropped the N word like a hundred times um, repeatedly in his specials. No one talks about that. No one's offended by that. He made a joke about the Jews. I, I mean, no one talks about that other stuff. It's all about the trans thing. So I I was really confused by that. I just have to say that. So on the whole, I didn't like this special. I've seen much better work from him. I mean, even Sticks and Stones, which was, you know, savaged by the critics, had, had more uh, remember, memorable jokes than this. Uh, you, you know, I remember the whole thing about Juicy Smollett. And um, I think he even had a joke. It might have been another special, but he had a joke about the Mormon moms and kicking a woman in her. But JJ was his um, punchline. 
funny that no one even recalls that, how offensive that was. But whatever. Dave Chappelle is who he is. I just, I think he should just, dude, just, just tell jokes. I mean, I, I feel kind of hypocritical saying that because I, I got infuriated when people like LeBron James are told to just dribble. But in certain situations, maybe it's best that you just do what you do best, and that is create comedy. And maybe you will get that title greatest of all time. I don't know. Uh, I just felt he was way too preachy in this special. But, yeah, that's about it. He's still a good comedian. I'm, I'm not tr trashing him too harshly, but this special really wasn't anything special. But that's all I got for today. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Give me a comment. Let me know whether you agree with me down in the comments below. And I will see you when I see you. Thanks for watching.